today I'm coming in with another banger for you guys and today we're gonna be talking about the top five or I, I guess I'm gonna be letting you know the top five best DLC 5 Zombies Chronicles map and let me tell ya Hey everybody what the heck is going on my name is Usman and let's just get right into it If you're new to the channel definitely do consider subscribing and hit that bell join the notification squad We do daily videos and live streams and that bell notification will keep you updated to when we go live and have a video up and I guess let's kick this off off with Nagdar Antoren or Uno Toten, that's how I like to pronounce it, but it's Nagdar Antoren, so Nagdar Antoren, it's what started everything, and that's one of the reasons why I have on the list, but the reason behind, or I should say the major reason behind why I have this on this list or have it in the video is because it is remastered and the map looks beautiful. I remember in the original Kino Der Toten, it was good, it was awesome, but it wasn't like anything that I would personally go ahead and play and play and play. I will play just for like 10 minutes and I would be bored out of my mind and this time I really thought that it will be boring as soon as we actually got a confirmation from Treyarch that we will get knocked there and told it. I know a lot of people were disappointed. I personally was like eh, it's gonna be just another map that we may have to just play once in a while or I will play it once and then we'll leave it off and everything will be fine. It will be good. We'll be ready for Black Ops 4 or whatever the, the next Treyarch game will be. So it was just like that was the idea behind but the more I play the more I enjoy it we have uh, of course it's a remaster of Nagdar and Toren outside of the map is absolutely beautiful it's the forest that we see in the uh, whenever you die or go down or end the game in zombies you see the forest cutscene so that's that and uh, it is beautiful and all I gotta say we have some variety of guns we have got the wonder fizz or as I like to call it wonder jizz uh, don't ask me how I made that but hey wonder fizz it's in here with that you can get any perk you would like to except for the electric cherry huh that's not in there but hey that's perfectly fine and the thing with this map is that hey this is the map that you can actually play and get better at training and another thing is that this is a map if you want to actually have fun and just want to kill zombies oh my god this is probably one of the best map it's so small you can just train on days for end you can get better at training and another thing what I personally like to do is I would just just go ahead and start up a Nocturne and Toten and just start playing and just start grinding for Liquid Divinium and try and just go for a high round while watching movies or YouTube videos or live streams. So I think it's really damn fun. And uh, you can also do starting room challenges and with Gobble Gums, of course, the Gobble Gums, uh, with that it makes 10 times better. Like you can have, uh, for example, you can buy the Wall Power, you can get the um, uh, Shiva on your RK5, of course, you get the RK5 if you have done all the Easter eggs and that sort of stuff. So so you get that, you get the wall power, buy yourself the Shiva, and then get maybe bullet boost, get yourself like some of the abilities like dead wire, blast furnace, everything like that, get another wall power, get back your RK5, get bullet boost, everything like that, and then you get yourself the perkaholic, self-medication, oh, it is just so good. So Nagdar Antoren is on over number 5 spot. And now coming in at number 4, we got my boy Ascension. Now Ascension, it is just a geo from map this was like the first map that actually introduced to uh, introduce the uh, the main quest or uh, main Easter egg and everything like that of course it's a small Easter egg I got a tutorial up on the channel as well and uh, it, it has a very small Easter egg but this was the first Easter egg we had Gersh in this map and of course the map once again is remaster we have monkeys on this map as well and they do take all your perks or I should say not all your perks I actually made a video about like how long will will it take for the monkeys to actually take away all your perks and your perkaholic so I made that shit I've linked it down in the description so that's that and it is the easiest map ever it's really good for training it's a solid map to play with your friends and especially if you are someone that actually just got into Call of Duty zombies and you just got let's say you have purchased Black Ops 3 today and your friends have too this is the perfect map to jump in on with your friends and just like go ahead and play this map enjoy it get the Gersh device get the Thunder Gun uh, turn on power uh, take those lands and just train in starting room area. Yes, you can even train in the starting room area. You can train anywhere you would like to. It is such an easy map and I guess anyone could play it and that's the beauty of Ascension and I absolutely love it and the map looks gorgeous and the next one is going to be Shangri-La and that's gonna be on our number three spot. Now Shangri-La looks beautiful AF and this is the map but the only thing I'm disappointed about is the in-depth remaster mod is back and uh, of course we have monkeys on this map and the 
Bomb Zombies, the Shrieker Zombie, uh, they look beautiful as well. Now, this map was originally like a challenge, and the fact that Black Ops 3 has like a three hit system, I feel like it is perfect. Of course, we have Gobble Gums in all of these remaster maps, and all I gotta say is Shangri La, it's an interesting map. It has a jungle type of feel. Everything is a challenge on this map, and that's why I love Shangri La. Like, if you wanna have a challenge, hey, that's the best map to play. The training is a little hard, uh, but I, I gotta say that in Black Ops 3, it's not that hard compared to Black Ops 1, but there's still a challenge behind it, even if you wanna, like, pack a bunch of guns, there's a challenge behind it, right? So, that's why I have it on uh, my number 3 spot, and the map is unique as well, and that's just another reason why I have it on my number 3 spot, so that's that. And now at our number 4 spot, I got Moon. Moon is such an awesome map. Now, I gotta say this, that I originally liked Moon, but it wasn't something that I would play every single day. I would play once in a while, and I would get bored of it very fast, because the reason was that, like, there was no sound on Moon. But this time around, they made it a little better. It is muffled, for sure, like, the sound and everything like that is muffled when you're on Moon, but the quotes and the dialogues and the fact that there is a round ending or round starting, or I should say, uh, not that, of course, we have, like, round ending and round starting music, I would say, but we also have, uh, if you go to certain areas of the map, there is like a different vibe you get, of course the colors are present, and the biodome looks so good, it looks so much better, and the moon setting in in itself, it's just crazy, like, uh, I'm playing zombies on moon, like, it is crazy, right, and the Area 51 is in there as well, and I gotta say, Area 51 looks really damn good, that area alone is just so good, right, it is phenomenal, that's the word I was looking for, and that's that, so Area 51 is awesome, and of course the easter egg of this map is basically you need to blow up the, the earth, and it looks so, so good in the remaster version now. Of course, I did not like the original moon, but this time I really do enjoy it, and it is just so much better overall. So that's why I have it on my number four spot. Now, before I go on my number one spot, I really gotta say this, that uh, it's not Origins, and I know, I know, Skittle, what the heck, you don't have Origins? Unsubscribe. Hold on a second, I will explain right after I actually finish this off. So, on my number one spot, I have Kino the Totem. This is my favorite map, and I guess you must be wondering, Skizzle, it's your favorite map, that's why you have it, and you do not have Origins, unsubscribe. Uh, hold on a second, I will explain myself. So, I have Kino the Totem on my very first spot. Number one, it's, it's, not, it's not because it's my favorite map, it is my favorite map for sure, but it is not why I have it on the list. Kino the Totem is such an awesome map, and of course, if you had purchased Black Ops 1 in the days, and if you had played this map with your friends, of course, you would understand where I'm coming from, and Kino the Totem is just so good of a map. I absolutely love it. It is so easy, and uh, you can actually play this, and this is another one of the map that you can actually play while watching movies. You can just be watching movies and casually playing, grinding for Liquid Vinium, going for high rounds, and not having any worry of the world and everything like that, and it is just so awesome. You can play with randoms. Uh, I, I guess I'm gonna, no, I'm not gonna say that. You, it, if you want, you can play with randoms, but it's not uh, the reason why I have on the list. So, that's one of the things if you want to do it, hey, totally go ahead and do it. But Kino the Tournament has really awesome training spots. Uh, and the map is absolutely beautiful. I personally love it. And everyone I talk to always says that Kino the Tournament is one of my favorite map as well. And some people do say it's their favorite map, just like it is my favorite map as well. And I want to quickly say about Origins. Um, Origins would technically be above. And let me tell you, I couldn't, I could, Origins is beyond. It's beyond this list. And I gotta say, if I have to, Origins would be above Kino the Totem for sure. And I guess every top 5 video you will watch nowadays uh, of like best top 5 zombies map, you will always, you will always expect uh, Origins to be the number one and you will always, uh, always see, hey, okay, Origins is number one, the video's over and everything like that. And that's why, uh, that's why I did not have in this list. But just know that if I have to, I would put Origins over Kino the Totem because of course there's no doubt in my mind it is like the best zombies map ever in terms of content, in terms of how the map is, in terms of how the map played, and uh, of course the Panzer sold at will 
fight to the death. Of course, he's back as well, so I mean, love it or hate it, Origins is going to be above Kinoder Toten, but in my eyes, I will put Kinoder Toten above Origins. So that's kind of like my personal opinion, but in terms of everything, I do say, I do gotta say that Origins will be above Kinoder Toten. And I guess it's time to end this video right here. If you guys have enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe if you're new, let me know your top five lists in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys very freaking soon.